PanicAttackRecovery.com. Hi, I'm Lynette from PanicAttackRecovery.com. We're a collaboration of former sufferers helping people with panic attacks, anxiety, stress, and ADHD. Today, we're presenting the video version of our podcast episode, which discusses one of the biggest distractions for people with ADHD and anxiety, temptations. Temptations can come in the form of things that bring us enjoyment. The problem with temptations is that when we're trying to focus on certain tasks, we get tempted by those things that distract us, but we don't notice this at first. However, after a while, you may start to get very frustrated because you're trying to accomplish certain tasks within a time frame, yet you're battling with your own temptations. So, what can you do about this challenge? The basic idea is to use something to track your activities throughout the day. This doesn't have to be as detailed as a journal or a logbook requiring you to log things in detail. This can be something very simple, partly why it can be so very helpful, where you simply track the task you're working on right now. You might simply use a piece of paper in front of you where you note the time of day and activity you're working on. And the best thing to do is to learn to refer to this information very regularly. Get in the habit of bringing your mind back to this list throughout the day. Some more tips. One, refer back to your list and this will help you to more often recognize when you're being distracted. Then write down the distracting thought or idea and put it on the back of the same piece of paper. This is sort of a parking lot of ideas. You can then return to this information later when you want a break. One of the reasons why this is so powerful is because you can become way more efficient and reduce the items demanding your attention. Every time you slow down, just like slowing down your computer when you're overloaded with too much, you take up too much RAM and it can't work. But the problem is not just that you're slowing down when distracted by temptation, you're actually taking your attention completely off of that activity. We all have multiple things that distract us each day and we don't realize how many times this occurs. So our attention can be constantly vacillating between the temptations and what they're supposed to be focusing on. But if you break this pattern, you can become way more efficient and feel better in the process. Thank you for watching and we look forward to presenting another video next week. For the extended version of the material presented in this video, you can listen to the podcast episode by visiting our website and subscribing to our free newsletter. PanicAttackRecovery.com